Everybody, we are here with Seth A. Smith. He is the co-writer, director of a new film called Tin Can. Seth, how are you today? Great, thanks for having me. Good to be here. So let's talk about your film, Tin Can. Can you, can you give us kind of the, the breakdown of the story? <clears throat> yeah, well, it's a science fiction thriller about a parasitologist who uh, is developing a cure for a fungal pandemic. But before she can, she's abducted and um, imprisoned in a kind of a human sized petri dish where her and others um, serve as test subjects in a bizarre experiment. So, what inspired the film? <laughs> um, a lot of things. I was, I was kind of thinking of factory farming, to be honest, and, uh, you know, th there's a lot of animal cruelty and uh, horrific things going on. So, you know, I thought it would be interesting to see that kind of scenario with humans in place of the animals in the context of a horror movie. I, I thought that would be um, interesting. And we had been looking at, uh, I, me and my writing partner have been talking about doing a single space kind of movie that was in one place and uh, exploring space as a theme. So uh, that's that's where it started. What, what really got me thinking was obviously the pandemic uh, mm. and the connections uh, yeah. and the, you know, the, the vaccines and the testing and this and that. And it just, it, something felt allegorical there. Yeah. Um, to a degree, but did was it affected by the pandemic at all? Well, it wasn't because uh, yeah, I, I always forget that, right? But it's the thing is, we actually shot it before the pandemic and wrote it before, so it's been a it's been a long journey here. Um, it's just uh, in the pandemic slowed things down, but yeah, we were we went through a fantasy pandemic when we were filming the thing, and then uh released it as we were just finishing or no not releasing but the, the pa pandemic kind of hit as we were finishing editing and we we're like oh <laughs> this there's so this is uh happening in real life and uh <laughs> and then yeah and then there were all the different phases of the pandemic and uh you kind of got it you know the movie almost you know took on a different reading with every phase so that's been kind of interesting to see it's it's weird how uh, that happens. Uh, definitely <laughs> a prescient storyline. Um, maybe maybe what you want to do next is make a film about world peace. See I was thinking about out. that, or, or or getting yeah rich, or you know this happiness. Something, <laughs> something anything. <laughs> That's a good um, idea. Now uh, Hopkins uh, as the lead. What did you look for in uh, that uh, in, in an actor? For that part and how how did she deliver well i guess the first thing i was looking for is willingness to do all the ridiculous stunts and things we had had to do uh but you know it's a very it's you know it's a hard thing to pitch to an actor um i was impressed with her on the on the expanse and she you know she'd done a few other sci-fi things and uh and yeah, she really had some cool ideas for the character. She, you know, that actually made the character a little darker than I had envisioned, but I was very into. And uh, and yeah, we did, there were a lot of tricky gags and she just pulled them off, you know, effortlessly. And she had a, like an amazing um, sense of humor about it all, which was really, good because uh you know you're in this dark warehouse in this kind of very dystopian these dystopian sets and you know making a horror movie it's you know it's an edgy atmosphere um but you know if you can laugh at the fart sounds coming from the tubes and the slime and then it's it makes things okay, but farts are just better. funny <laughs> yeah but yeah i mean <laughs> not everyone laughs at them but yeah i laugh at them They're I, hilarious. I i ruined a bunch of takes so <laughs> Well, uh, what about Michael Ironside? I mean, like, or Legends? Mm -hmm. What was it like to work with him? I mean, amazing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's, he's, he was, yeah, he's like, growing up, he was like a hero of mine, for sure. He's always the guy, you know, fighting Schwarzenegger or, you know, um, 
you know, I, I remember him from Scanners really liking that uh, mental battle that they had. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I, you know, when I wrote it, I, I kind of pictured him as this, as this character, Wayne, uh, that we'd never see. And, you know, he, he would be the, uh, you know, as a spoiler, spoiler alert here, but he reads the character that never dies. Um, and I like that. And I, I, you know, I just decided to call him and see if he'd be into it. And uh, he read the script and he liked it. And uh, his only stipulation was that he wanted to, to be destroyed in a very violent manner. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but, but he, 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 at this point, you know, that that's his track record. He's always getting limbs cut off or beheaded, you know, set on fire. And, uh, I mean, that's spectacular, really. I, maybe ours is the only film where he doesn't end up dying. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, he was cool to work with. Uh, I, you know, it, it was it was fun. So you you mentioned um, uh, the fart noises from the tubes and things like that. But but were there any other moments on the set that 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 were pretty magical? Either um, you know this just a take that just really worked out or a moment where things kind of fell together yeah i mean there's it's it's always magical you know you, you as a director you're always planning things to the very t and uh you know hoping they go exactly the way you want them but it's always the parts that don't end up how you expected that are the most magical and uh yeah, I mean, there was a lot of variables. I think the a lot of the suit stuff, like, you know, the suits were hard and we had to put those together and they kind of, I, I remember we had to keep pushing the scenes um, with the attendants till the suits were ready and, you know, we shot them when it was the last possible moment. But, you know, when uh, our, our body actors, Kristen and, and Darcy stepped into the suits. It was actually pretty terrifying on set. It just it felt, you know, there's a clumsiness that was kind of cool. And, but also, you know, the real coldness. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they also couldn't communicate very well because uh, they're so, you know, it was real isolation, right? And, uh, and they had these, there was this barrier. And uh, yeah, it, it anyway it just really felt right and fit right for me it was nice the the film definitely explores uh you know self-autonomy and uh you know it, identity and 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 being able to you know be in control of oneself things like that um what are some of the other themes that you might be exploring in in future horror films oh that's an interesting question uh well, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's you know, it's like someone said to me, like all my films are prison films, and I started being like, oh wait, <laughs> that's not true. I was like, you know, the first film was a drug film, the second one was like uh, this afterlife film, and then this one was a prison film physically. And but you know, I mean, that theme resonates with me for some reason. Uh, but uh, yeah, I try to do something different every time. I'm I'm. I, trying to you know my next one i'd like to do would be uh this uh adaptation of algernon blackwood's the willows which is a novella i really like and uh and the novella it's two guys that go camping in our movie it's about brothers so it's kind of exploring brotherhood and uh you know s siblings and sibling rivalry and all all the good stuff so that's excellent. where my head's been excellent excellent um so yeah so the the future uh, how how has actually how has tin can been received i mean i'm seeing every time i look at the trailer it's just plastered with laurels so. oh cool yeah i mean it's been good for us i mean you know it's it's uh it isn't ex you know the the you know it's it's not a your typical man in a box film you know you, a lot of these you're in the box the whole time it's it's and it's kind of like a two-part movie so it's it's playing with things a little and uh so yeah there's people that uh, so far the response has been great i mean uh, i don't know if, if if everyone will resonate with it but the people that are resident you know that it is kind of made for them are really liking it which is um you know it means a lot because uh 
you you kind of make go in making a film that you want to see you know and uh and uh, when other people react to it um the same way well it feels like you're doing something right now you did work with ironside is are are there any other legend horror legends that you might be interested in working with kind of a bucket list yeah yeah you know i don't know i just yeah, there's always, you know, a lot of, a lot of people, you know, I don't, my favorite actor going right now, though, is Michael Shannon. Someday I'd love to work with that guy because I think he's just amazing. Yeah, um, he's, but he's not necessarily a horror actor, but uh, he, but he, you know, he, all his characters could definitely fit in the genre. So. No question. Yeah, like when he was up for an Oscar uh, for Shape of Water, uh, he just kind of sat at a bar. <laughs> and watch the telecast and i was like yeah that guy's cool you know yeah so. yeah he, he yeah that was and that what maybe was was one of his you know uh you know he's his some of his his more colorful roles are are are, are in other movies too you know mm. well uh again i i really appreciate you getting on here and talking to me about tin can um and again everybody seth a smith uh <laughs> I got it. Uh, the The film comes out August 9th, everywhere and on demand. And you need to check it out. There's some great body horror and Michael Ironside. So uh, Seth, th thank you so much for talking to me. And I uh, oh, really appreciate it. Thanks for having to, me. Hope to talk to you again soon. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Buddy. Bye.